Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends, Marvel Studios' first 10 years, Iron Man. Um, this one I got off Amazon, he was 20 bucks, uh, shipped on Amazon Prime, and he came in those padded mailers they shipped him in, and he's actually in decent shape, like he's not smashed at all. Just some, you know, corner wear, which is not a big deal to me. But it's got nice, you know, window box packaging, it's got the blasters in the front, and has the Avengers A right there, with his two alternate hands. Um, it's just, I'm excited for this figure. On the sides here, it's got some images from the Iron Man movies. You can see like Iron Man 2 there. It's got some pictures of Cap Shield. Iron Man when he's fighting uh, Thor. It says the Avengers uh, 2012. It just says the Avengers right there. And then you can kind of see a quick little bio there. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and get this guy opened up and we'll check out the details. All right, guys, before we check out the details, I just want to show you guys this since I have the Red Skull box number two. And so if you line them up, we get part of the picture. <laughs> just so you guys can see. But yeah, I just want to show you guys that really quick. All right, we'll get this guy opened. All right, guys, so first off, we'll just start with the accessories. He does come with these two uh, yellow blasters, which is cool to always get. You know, more variations in the color coloring, so you can definitely use these as you know boosters for him blasting off, and then use the other repulsor blast that we've gotten in the past to for his hands. So very cool. They're just more of this uh, lighter orange, and he does come with two uh, interchangeable hands. So we have the open repulsor uh, blast like hand, and I like how they actually hit you know the way they hinged it, where they arched his um, armor here, so it stays um, out of the way. And doesn't hinder you know the having his wrist pointed up so i think that's really nice of them to do that that's kind of always been like a complaint with an iron man figure is the armor is too stiff here so when you arch his hand up you know it kind of gets in the way this one's pretty a lot more like of a softer plastic on this fist but very cool i kind of wish they painted especially since it's like the studios figure i kind of wish they painted the repulsor on that hand just a minor little thing all right so this oh and there goes his hand so this Iron Man's actually really cool. So his hands actually, mold, that hinge is actually molded. Oh, it's really loose. Uh, molded in that position. So you can't put his hand down flat. So he's going to have his hands up like that the whole time. I'm going to try the fist just because I think that looks cool. There we go. But man, this guy looks really cool. Um, definitely a nice movie Iron Man. The paint feels good. That feels good. Looks good. Uh, it's just a nice looking figure. Uh, it's got a nice gold. Let's see if I can kind of do that crazy zoom in I did on the thing. So it's got the nice gold finish on the, on the front of the face mask there. You can kind of see some blemishes like the blue above his eyes. But I really like the white um, around the eyes. You can definitely tell on mine the left eye has more blue paint kind of covering it. So that's kind of a bummer. But overall, I mean, it looks nice i think that looks really cool doesn't look like the it almost looks like the face plate can come off but it doesn't but it does not but it's got a nice black lining around the mouth and it's just got a nice glossy red plastic you know kind of just the way that makes that helmet shine i think that looks really cool i like all the lining sculpt it's really cool and then coming around the front here you can see the nice uh Gunmetal gray on the front and got the nice white kind of you know, arc reactor in the chest. Really like this gold paint on the forearms and the chest there really makes it stand out. And I like how they did the gunmetal, I'm gonna zoom back out, uh, gunmetal kind of gray in the arm joints there. I think that looks nice. But it's, it can use that nice gold in the, in the stomach here. I do have a little bit of overspray on the crotch area for the silver or gunmetal kind of got on there. Maybe I'll try to scrape that off. But it does have it on the thighs there. Got a little bit. Nope, that's how it is. It's got some. I can't tell if that's overspray of gold on the front because they're both like that. But the gold just looks really good on this figure. I think that looks really nice. I like the little gunmetal silver. I mean, it's, it definitely has. I feel like he has more uh, paint de paint applications than the other movie Iron Man figures. I like how that silver kind of goes over like that and a little bit more sculpt. I think it looks really nice. And it's not crazy marble. I mean, you can see some of the marbleization of the plastic on the sides here, but overall the red 
Well, I guess it's more of a deeper red on certain joints compared to like this whole uh, crotcher piece. Like it's more of a light, different kind of red. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one seems a little darker. Sorry if I'm rambling. But the gold looks really good. I like the gold in here and this and the gunmetal. I mean, it just looks, it's a nice Iron Man figure for a movie. You know, a good movie Iron Man figure. All right, so I'm going to go over the articulation. So his head looks, so my joints might be stiff. I haven't kind of broken them in yet. Uh, head moves back, forward. Oh. Sorry about that guys, it got a little hiccupy. Um, I was doing the head articulation and the head just like popped right off and I knocked the camera over so it was just kind of a big mess. I had to just do a quick little edit. Hopefully it doesn't look too chopped up. So his head doesn't go back very far. It goes back about that much. And then he looks down about that much and he looks left and right. He kind of has the wobble in the head. He's got ball joints in the shoulders. They move forward and back. He also can move out pretty far. This is kind of gummy, so it, can, it doesn't really have a hinge, but it moves out of the way. It's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation, also a hinge at the wrist. And then if you, obviously if you have the repulsor blast hand, there is no hinge. It's permanently like that, just rotates. His uh, ab crunch is more of just a ball peg, so it can kind of rotate around. Uh, moving back does not, can't arch back too much. He does start to hinder a little bit, but he can get him back a decent amount. Going forward, not so much. Does not have a lower waist swivel or anything like that. It's got ball joints in the shoulders. They kick forward, pretty hindered. Um, you can almost, nope, can barely do the splits. Uh, he's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, looks good. No boot rotation, ankles move down and they move up. He does have the nice ankle rockers, peggles, bottom his feet. My favorite thing about the figure is the back. Um, he's got these fins, the air fins that are on hinges. So you can totally open him up to get him like catching air, just slow himself down, you know, when he's fighting. I mean, that's really cool. When I first saw that, I was just like, oh, it had so sim such a simple thing, but it's so cool. They even did a little bit of paint detailing underneath. So you can see underneath this one, it's got some silver and it's got some gold on the side, but I think you see the gold, yeah. So they just mainly did the silver there, but these open pretty far out, uh, I mean, enough to where you can see them uh, from the front but I just think that looks really cool definitely my favorite part of the figure very nice all right guys so I'll go ahead and show you guys how tall the Marvel Studios Iron Man is sorry I'm all over the place let me go ahead and show you guys with the repulsor blast you know with the little effects on there so there's some of these little pegs this ooh, right hand's a little bit more uh, stiff than the left the left's pretty loose especially with that um, open palm they just basically plug right into that, like so. And there you go. So you can have you know, Iron Man doing his, his blast. Yeah, very cool. And like I said, you can plug him in the bottom of his feet. So you could get him, you know, taken off. And then you can also maybe even point his hand down like that and have more effects coming out like he's you know, hovering like, I don't know. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and show you guys how tall Iron Man is. All right, guys, so Iron Man stands a little over six and a half inches tall. Here he is from the movie series, Iron Man's from, oh man, from the, during, I think, 08 from Hasbro. So you can just see kind of the change up and the armor, it's very similar, but you can just see the overall size and just the bulkiness of the Marvel Studios one just looks way better. And here he is next to the two-pack Iron Man from with the Homecoming Spider-Man. Just so you can do, I'm not going to do a crazy amount of comparisons of movie Iron Mans. If you do want that, let me know in the comments. Uh, but you can just tell this middle one, this Marvel Studios one, has so much more effort put into it. He just looks nicer. He looks bulkier and just a lot more better paint applications in my opinion but i don't know i really like this iron man i think it's really a nice figure so definitely keep an eye out on amazon i picked them up for 20 bucks not from amazon itself it was another seller on there so i didn't have to pay for tax which was nice so it came out to like he was selling it for well the store was selling it for 2024 20, and that was shipped so there's just 2024. So that, that was a nice little uh, thing to find. I'm sure he'll come down more. My targets now have uh, a ton of these guys. So I'm sure these guys will go on sale. Just be patient. Um, and you'll be able to get them lower than 24.99. dollars 
But there you go, guys. Leave, leave a comment if you like it. Um, let me know if you have any questions or want other comparisons. Let me know in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.